Hey guys, how's it going? This is Spudman. Oh, our team here. Yeah, you know, I was just in the middle of uh, watching some old school Yu-Gi-Oh on Crunchyroll. Hashtag not sponsored. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, you guys probably can't even see or hear very well, but anyway. Ooh, good thing I'm not doing live recording on Dawn of Destiny. My TV has a lot of glare right now. But yeah. I was just watching the... I love that swirling animation for the uh, Shadow Guardians. Kazujin Sanga and... Uh, dude. Well, let's see. I probably want to mute this. So let me get my remote. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this ending is like copyright or something. There we go. Should be good now. Anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna let that play in the background, guys and girls, while I... Um, we're gonna do an opening right now here on this right here. The Kaiba... What is this? Let's read it back, actually. And as you guys know, um, in case this is your first time tuning in to Flood My 14 channel, we're pretty informal. Really on... Whoops! <laughs> everything so let's look at the tin 2017 mega tin and let's read it in an epic voice the kind of mega tin includes three 2017 mega tin packs one secret rare blue eyes one two ultra rare cards proxy dragon and a pot of desires card that we all want one ultra rare token Featuring Seto Kaiba. Two super rare cards. Number 68. Seraphon, the Sky Prison, and Elder Entity in TSS. Each mega pack contains one secret rare, one ultra rare, one super rare, one rare, and twelve delicious commons. All for your deck building needs. Includes cards from the following booster sets. Shining Victories. Great set, by the way. I love Shining Victories. That's probably my favorite set of... That came out in 2016, right? Definitely my favorite set of 2016. The Dark Illusion. Of course, I've always been more of a Blue Eyes guy than a Dark Magician guy. That's just me personally. You know, I... You know, some of my decks don't run either, but, you know, if I had to, it's, it's more of that thing, but uh, I can talk about that later. Yeah, Invasion, Vengeance, and Raging Tempest. But yeah, it, it, you know, um, don't get me wrong, actually back when, um, in the day, like when I first, um, it was funny, my, because you guys have seen the duels of my buddy Diego, he actually had a Blue Eyes deck that I made. Um, and he was really young back then. He was only like, maybe like six or seven. And, you know, and I was teaching him how to play the card game and stuff. So it's pretty interesting. Um, but like, yeah, it was funny. I made the Blue Eyes deck for him. And of course I made it good, you know, for back then. This was back in, you know, 2000, eh, 2006 when I started teaching, 2007. Anyway. Uh, maybe even earlier, like 2004. Anyway, long story short, he got to where he was pretty proficient with that deck. So maybe that would be something you guys could be interested in seeing is a classic. Basically one of our classic duels. Because I would actually run not a dark magician deck, but I would run a, a dark paladin deck. And yet he would still win. You know, lots of the times. So, pretty interesting. Yeah, uh, yeah. Dark Paladin's like the ace monster of that deck. But, uh, yeah, I made that d ultimate uh, dragon deck, uh, which was basically what it was. Uh, I actually didn't have five god dragon at the time, but if I did, I would have included that was as well. But anyway, long story short, yeah, I made that deck so good that, uh, <laughs> yeah, even the Blue Eyes ultimate deck could beat Dark Paladin. Now, that's pretty crazy, but... That's how good I made that deck, man. Um, but yeah, lots of commercials showing right now, so let's just, uh, you know what, let's pause the video here, and I will make this uh, part two. 